My name is Mindy. I am totally blind and have been since birth. So I've been living with this thing for an awfully long time. When I was younger, I was able to see a little bit. I could see light coming from a window. I could see shadows. When I crossed the street, I could see the white lines on the street. So I had a certain amount of vision. Little by little, it decreased. When I lost all of my vision, I suddenly found that I was having a hard time with sleeping. I could sleep for two weeks at a time, every night, all night, wonderful. And then for the next three or four weeks, I was awake for various periods of the night, different times, and it would go in cycles. So maybe one night I would sleep at midnight and I would sleep until two in the morning. Then I would wake up and maybe I would fall asleep again at six and maybe I would wake up at eight. Or another night I might attempt to go to sleep at the same time, but find myself actually falling asleep two hours later, waking up four hours later, and not ever getting back to sleep. When it became two o'clock in the afternoon, three o'clock, four o'clock in the afternoon that I would absolutely need to take a nap, no chance that I could do anything about it, that's when I had to stop working. And that was really traumatic for me because I had a job that I loved and the last thing I really wanted to do was stop working. And so uh, it went downhill from there. As time went on, I began to hear about the circadian body rhythms from friends. And so as soon as I had a computer, I began finding search engines and looking for information about the circadian body rhythms. When I finally got the diagnosis that I had non-24 hour sleep-wake disorder, I couldn't have been happier. I really, I felt lighter. I felt as though tons of bricks had been lifted off my shoulders and I was just free and I, I just felt so much better. And I came home from the doctor feeling as though someone had finally heard me because there's nothing more frustrating than somebody essentially saying, don't worry your pretty head about it because it keeps you from doing all the things you want to do. Many, many concerts that I do not go to because if I fall asleep, I'll be so unhappy and embarrassed. Um, lectures, forget lectures. Uh, if it's something, no matter how interested I am, I'm not gonna go, unless I'm in a good phase. If I'm in a good sleep phase, then okay, fine. But that's the way this non-24 hour sleep-wake disorder is, and it is a bear. I don't wish it on my worst enemy, I'm semi-retired at this point. I have several part-time positions. I work with senior citizens who are losing vision on acceptance of their vision loss, and I help to give them some ideas about how to cope. One thing I have learned about coping with non-24 is that I have to be aware of my body. I always have to know how I'm doing in a given day because if I'm aware, then I can plan accordingly and I can know that I'm gonna get a certain amount done before three or four o'clock because I know that lately that's the time I'm gonna fall asleep. I would say to anybody who might be suffering from non-24 hour sleep-wake disorder that it's real important to continue to talk about it the thing we, we most want to do is not tell anybody, but that isn't helping us. We've got to tell people. We must let people know how important it is by talking about it and not being embarrassed, but saying, here's the situation. I need to find a cure.